What's up guys, and the ECA Vlogs back here for another match preview for you guys. Today, ECA are playing Chesterfield. Chesterfield currently sit 22nd in the league and only play 30 games with only managed to, to get 30 points. And also, they only managed to score 39 goals with conceding 53. Only two other teams so far in this league has conceded more. That include Edsbury and Torquay. And I believe Edsbury have conceded more than Torquay. In the last five games, um, Chesterfield, last game they played, they beat Sutton 1-0. And then the last three nil to Solihull. Then they played Halifax, losing 1-0. And they managed to draw to Solihull, 2-2, even though they went 2-0 up in the first 17 minutes. And then managed to concede a 95th minute equaliser. I believe it was from Jake Ball, I think that was from. The, then the last game, they beat Torquay 3-0. So looking at that, them games, obviously they look all pretty sort of hard games. Obviously, Chesterfield are down the bottom. I see they only managed to get two wins and a draw. That's not a bad form in the last five. And obviously, they did have a, a week break because obviously they didn't play in the FA Trevi, which I believe they got knocked out in the first round. So I see coming into this game, they'll be fresh, like fully fit, fresh. And obviously, with, with us, we've rested some, like, rested some players in that um, FA F Trophy game. Obviously, Chesterfield signed a couple of players, a goalkeeper and then a right-back, so Jordan Cropper from Burnley, which I've, I've read that Saul Dyche is really high on him as he can um, look to whip the ball in the box. Obviously, with, they've, got, they've got dangerous strikes up front, so hopefully we can cap, like defend his crosses. Chesterfield only has two injuries, and one of them is Anthony, and then the other one is Yusuf, both with struggling with hamstring injuries. Coming to Eastley, our last five games, obviously, um, we beat Matlock 2 1 in the FA Trophy, and we lost 2 1 to Hartlepool away, and lost to All the Shots 3 1 away, then drew 2 2 to Bournemouth away, beat Bournemouth 3 2 away. Actually, most of our games in the last five games been away, away which are in four of them in the league and obviously one game in the FA Trophy at home but then we haven't played this year yet at home so today is the first time we're playing at home and look at them we're on a poor format at the moment I believe the last five league games we've managed to get five points so that's basically one point per per game from the last five which is not really good after coming into this game, EC also signed three players the other day on Thursday. And if you, I made a video of our signings. The link can be down in the description. If you click on that, you can you can watch it. I'll also give my thoughts on the players who we signed. So um, the players who we signed is James LRB, Jake Scrimshaw, and then Yukada Goodwin Malif. They're pretty good signings. Ones, pretty two strikers, one a fullback slash set um, centre half. So that gives us more depth. Up front and then helps off with injuries at the back because he sort of helping replacing Rob Axon. Obviously, good news for Italy injury wise, we've got Andrew Boyce back and Michael Green fit for this game, and that's really good. Obviously, we've been struggling at the back recently, and if these two come back fit, obviously, we need a we haven't got a left back, so if Green comes back strong today, it'd be decent. And if Boyce comes back as well, which is decent because obviously, he's a big, big physical. Present at the back and the last meetings versus Chesterfield, we only played them three times in only three times in the league, and we've only beat them twice at their ground and then only drawing once and drawing once. So we beat them twice and drawing once, and the only draw came to our ground last year. One, oh, I believe it was one one. And the last time we played Chesterfield, it was at their ground, we beat them two one. With Michael Swan scored the winner, and Tyra Bryant scoring the equaliser. So we went one nil down. That's not surprising. We normally go one nil down, but hopefully, the last five games to be honest, we've scored at least a goal. So coming into this game, we should basically score as we normally do score. But the only bad thing is we do concede a lot. So hopefully today could be a game we don't concede. My score prediction today, I'm going for a three one win. But so this, my team is going to be my X side for this team game. It will be I see we strike Jackson goal, left back it'll be Greener then. Centre backs would be Winter, Partison, and then Boyce, and our new signing, Goodwin Relief at right back. And then obviously in midfield, it'd be Jack Payne and Danny Holland sitting in front of the defence. And then with in sort of cam role, we could either put on the Cav Mayer go there, then up front it will be. I want to go with Scott Rendell and then LRB up front, and then obviously being on. We could either bring on um, the Scrimshaw. I would hope to bring on Scrimshaw because 
uh, like for his pace up front and it gives the defenders not a chance to rest at all. Uh, so I'm choosing to be strong, strong this season because not many times this season we've basically had youth on the bench and this is one of the first times this season we have quite quite strong bench with actually most players got first thing experience so that's really good for us. I see that's the good news coming in future games as we do have like nine games in the next in the next month period. I think James Alabi will get on the score sheet today on his debut. I go for Danny Holland scoring as he normally does score like now and then but he's a top goal scorer in the league. And then the last one will be I go for Cav Mali. If you do enjoy that preview Hope you give it a like, subscribe if you're new. Do enjoy this, comment down below just to see what more things that I should do or add any something more I should add in, in these videos. And obviously, this is my background at the moment. I'm going to change it up. Obviously, this is only like a little board. So once I've tried to get it signed by Yates, and I do see him if it does come against when we face five that are around, get it signed in and I can like put it on the wall. And so yeah. So, see you next time.